let's start with a new scene back now that we're back in Unity. Go ahead and save as. And let's call this the video player. Very scene here. Right. And let's create our video player and empty. Reset it. Video player. Capital on my L. Right. So we want our video player to be somewhere in our mixed reality world. So it has to be some kind of a world space object. So let's go ahead and create a canvas UI. Canvas and set this to world space. Right here. Set this to zero. Make sure and this could be like anything. Let's do set this as in a 10. Now it matter too much here. This would be oh two oh two. Any kind of world space canvas, I always try to set it from uh zero zero two, and if I'm there, I can go up and down with it. This is a UI canvas. We want to be able to interact with this using our controller. Tracked recast graphics recast it here. And then next, we want to create some kind of a background so our video is not just floating out there. Image. Video. Video background. Set this to, right now we're using a 720p video. Let's set this. Uh, background image just a little bit bigger than our actual video and scale it down to 0.4 here let's want to do like a little blackish transparency down to let's do one spot like that on there kind of grayish color perfect recast targets fine then for our video, we've actually been playing on a raw image. And we're going to set the raw image as our play here. So move so the by 20. And it's the right, right size. Good. And this will be our render texture here. So where is it going to come from? I'll first do the video player on here as well. And the video clip. And the video player is going to be playing this. And it's going to be target mode here is the render texture. And we need a target texture here. So let's go to video. Go ahead and delete the old one. Or we'll create. And we're going to create a new render texture for our video player that we can add to our raw image, right? Rendering. Nope. Where is it? Okay, so we want to create a render texture. So we'll go to create, go to render texture all the way down here. Call it video. Video texture. And we want to set this the same size as our video. This is the video we'll be using here. And we can click on here and find the source information. It's 1280 by 720. We can set this to 1280 by 20, no anti aliasing. And the depth sensor formatting, I actually don't need that. Great. Go back to our video. I want to click override here, definitely click transcode. And the codec set to 264, bitrate medium, spatial quality medium as well. And then go ahead and press apply. And check. Now go back to your raw image. This would be our video player, the video texture. Let's go over one step by step. So video player, we're going to be using this one here. And let's not play on awake. We don't need to loop. And the video player will play the video and it's going to add it to our render texture. And then 
uh, to our render texture here. The video player will be adding, playing the video into our render texture, and then we're going to be uh, pushing our render texture to this raw image here. And you can actually just press play and see it kind of work. Press play when awake. See our little video here being played. Ah. So we made an error here. Go back. This is supposed to be 720. Press enter. Try again. That looks good. But now we want to actually control this. So let's add a little button to kind of control this here. UI. Button. Move it forward just a little bit. Plus our play button. Recast that target by accident. Like we want to do something. Load. Here we want to create a new script and it's called it video controller here. This allows us to start the video whenever we want, not to play on awake. So we want to actually press the video, let it start, and then wait a few seconds, let us get into position. So and the view video control, let's go ahead and open that up. Okay. Same object, public video, and we're using Unity Engine dot video, the video layer, and on our button, drive it forward. Video timed video yeah. Yeah, let's field private load uh Player delay goes two three seconds. Let's do a core routine here and add a numerator time video player float delayed yield return a new wait four seconds. Delay. You can just skip this and just do no float here and just do the player delay here. Public forward on the button. Yes. Start the core routine for our enumerator and the video player. Float delay, and then here, I'm going to do if our video player is Uh, 
So give us a few time. When we press the play button, uh, the button will activate here. And this will give us some time of the delay before the video actually starts playing. It gives us some time to kind of get into place. Save it. Click our player prefab. Add our video player here. Then our button that's being playing. And we're going to add the player prefab here. Um, and then on that game object, we're going to have our video control script here and on button press. And it's going to play. And also, it's right there. I just actually want to hide it. So what you can do is just add the button here and just make it hide itself. Game object is set active to false. Great. Make sure you turn this into a prefab. Go to prefab, video, player prefab. Add it in. Now we don't need this here anymore. Go ahead and delete that. Reality. And now... For the simple anchor, we're using the anchor preview, set the position. Now the anchor prefab, we actually want to set it. Prefab here, we want to set it in front of us. So give you a sense of what it's going to look like here, the anchor preview. So it's going to set in this direction, it's going forward. I do the same thing and Play our video prefab here and set it. It's going to be going the Z direction, same thing here, Z direction there. And then we're going to set it in front of us. Then you can press play and then try it. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Build and let's, I'll show you how I made this video. Go ahead and add our open scene and press build. In the Unity app, find a place you want, add our video player, press play, three, two, one. Mm -hmm.